previously. So this should be a crafter, but I did mention, if you recall, at some point it's going to stop being craft do, craft do, and just be craft 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 or do do do. I can't remember. So, in fact, no, let's go, we're going to go check up on our farms. Both of them, in fact, because we forgot to check the one before. We're going to do this often because we need to prove whether or not you can get the magical pumpkin seed, or whatever the hell it's called, using a lever. Right, I don't see you on there, but that doesn't prove anything. Doesn't disprove anything. Let's go back up. Oh, look at him. See him dancing in there. He was so happy with himself. I love this little guy. Right, so now we're going to go... Where is he? There he is. Now we're going to go over to the home. Over to the home, yep. We're going to grab some Daybloom seeds, which we have stored in here. Then we're going to go to the Wizard's Tower. Which is uh, this away? Up and over this. I always forget how tall this is. And into this. And now, uh, not all of them are done, but enough are done for us to grab them out. So we need to come back here at night time, don't we, to get these moon glows. I'll have to try and remember that on the next evening. Or was I going to do it the previous evening? And then we hit the the blood moon again, which distracted me. That's probably what happened. There we go. Got another 18 of those. We still need a Tim hat for that, and we still need a Rune Wizard hat for this up here. A Rune Wizard set, in fact, for that. That's enough. Right, down here, do this. We're looking good. Got loads of money. Is that platinum coins? It is. Probably put those away. Okay, we're looking good. Back on with suggestions. We did that, and we're now on to... Craft a Fawn Chakram. You can barely see that because of all the crap that's on my see seed screen with my squashling pet, the cash flames, and the uh, water candle adding little icons up there. Craft the Fawn Chakram from Josh Wheeler. So, Josh Wheeler, we shall do this. This is an older weapon. This used to be the saving icon. If I save my game, you'll see a pink spinning thing. That's one of Plantera's spiky balls. Before Plantera was added, though, it used to be the Fawn Chakram icon. Now, if I recall, it just needs fawns and vines? And stingers, maybe? Now, uh, we'll see. And fawns, vines, fawns? What am I thinking of with fawns? I think is there a, such a thing, or did I make that up? I think I was thinking I was think I was thinking of stingers. Right, let's see what I need to make a fawn chakaram. Oh, we need jungle spores. We don't even need that other stuff. Jungle spores. Luckily, we have a butt ton of in here. Fly back up. There we go. Jungle Chakram, the icon for it has changed as well. Now you can hold a few of these. They need um, six jungle spores and 15 stingers each, which is quite a lot. But you can hold... Maybe just one? It doesn't say it stacks like it does with the other things. Let's craft another one and see. No, they don't stack like they do with... They do bounce around, you don't have to hold it down, fire it once and it's off. Now, does it have a range, a limited number of bounces, or is it time? Let's see. So if we just like throw it, count, one, two, nearly three seconds, we throw it in here, we get one. Yeah, it definitely has a limited number of bounces before it can but retention your inventory. But that's that done, and I think that f our chest is so close to being full. Move everything down here like that. And that. 
Look at all melee chest is just so full of stuff now. What have I told you? So this demonic fawn chakram that we just crafted up, um, we'll go give it to Walter. Like that. Well, I would no, I was only joking, Walter, please. Yeah, you can have it. Shut the door after you. Don't make me pull this lever, you would fall to your death and you wouldn't even know. Uh, what, I don't want to be here, I want to be in here. Going here, we can put away that money. We can also put away all the crap that we just took out. Including these jungle spores. Bonk. Now we'll go back up to our list. We're tearing through these, aren't we? Where's my pickaxe? There it is. So we got... Craft the Fawn Chakram. Thank you very much, Josh Wheeler, for your idea. It has been done. I crafted two. I did your idea twice, in fact. One of them has been sold to Walter. Just kind of hope he isn't going to kill me with it. What was that sparkling down here? Anyone else see that? Like some sparkles come up? Right. Like you see... Bizarre. Done. Anyway, next. Yeah, let's move on to another thing. So maybe this one. We have... Blank. I guess we already did that one. We have... Are we done? Have we completed everything on this list now? George's tuxedo. We bought the hat. I couldn't find the tuxedo. So either I did it wrong or it's not in the console version. I will look this up. Emil Sivijis. I will look this up and figure out what's going on. Find a bum pickaxe. That's an ongoing thing. So Charlie Mesa, Metza. I'm going to do that off camera and keep working at that. And then this one is the Skeletron from Marfig Trainings. So we need to defeat Skeletron Prime during the day, but I kind of did not want to do that now. I'm not even, I'm not even staying out there. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to do that now because I was going to focus on um, getting some goodie bags. So, I think if I'm coming off this for this recording session, I'm going to end on a bit of a high. And when I say a bit of a high, I'm going to end getting lots of goodie bags. And the reason I say this is because I'm going to show you one of the good things about having uh, Halloween. You know how pumpkins grow a lot? Well, you can use those pumpkins to make pumpkin moon medallions. And if I stand in my arena, summon the pumpkin moon, and you saw how much loot I got last time, just imagine the goodie bags that will bring in. If they can drop goodie bags. And I'm sure they they could. I'm sure they did last year. Was I doing this last year? I don't even remember. I'm sure they will drop goodie bags. So, we'll do that now and we'll see. If they drop goodie bags, then I'm going to do that a bunch of times off camera. If they don't drop goodie bags, then I won't be doing that and I'll go back to doing something else. But for now, we can definitely do it. I and mean, we have a few... We have four of these already. Take that out. We can also take out one of these. We'll put these away just up for now in our safe because we don't want to screw anything over. We're not even going to eat a pie. We don't care about pie. We'll put this in here too. And... Is that all I want? Is that all I'm going to need for this pumpkin moon? I definitely want a clean inventory. That's... That much is true. Stand there, swing my sword. The item to summon the pumpkin moon. The icon to increase the speed at which we kill stuff. We need to turn on our traps and stuff. I think that's everything. I probably am forgetting something. That's just like me, isn't it? But Otherwise, I think that's good to go. In fact, you know what? Since we've got a bit of daytime left, we have time, I reckon, to fight one more Plantera. Not that one, though. <laughs> I'm saving that one. Uh, one Plantera, somewhere around here. Go on, you know you want to. There we go, one over here. So we'll smash this, we'll fight this version of Plantera. And that should... I mean, if we got the axe now, that would just make my day, seriously. We've had such a good run, we've completed so many suggestions. If we can just 
finish it off by getting the axe. Ah, oh, we didn't get it. Oh well, never mind. Now, I was wondering why my pumpkins were glowing so bright. Look at that. I still got the effect of the cursed flames rocking out on top of me. Completely forgot. Right, we've got about two and a half minutes, I think, until night time kicks in. That's enough time to set everything in motion. Now, I know my inventory is filled back with stuff again, but... Don't you worry. I have a plan. I just want to do that before I forgot it. Walter, take this. That's it. Thanks, Walter. <laughs> and then we want to put away... Uh, what did we just get? We got um, some bungalows and stuff. And then we've got a key and some potions. Now, drop down here. Pop the key in. And these ten potions, we have enough time to head to... to underwater base. Drop it off, get back, and be ready. Now, the cursed flames isn't going to be an issue, because you can only have one flask active at a time, but the newest flask that's used overwrites the oldest. So by using the flask of Icor, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the flask of cursed flames effect. So we, don't, we can't stack them, which is never going to be something we're going to do anyway, but it just means we don't have to worry because we can still have the eye core effect, which I much prefer. So this is all going off like that. Just look at that. It's a beautiful thing to see, isn't it? Look. Boop, 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 boop. Then we just go inside here. When we're ready, we turn these on. We swing our sword. And also we need to... Flick. We can do this one now, can't we? We can, t we can turn these on now as well. Like this. I'm going to get hit by a crab a little bit. Did I mention I'd moved the crab statue to the left-hand side rather than the right-hand side? Just because I want the crabs to spawn directly on top of me. I, I'm, I'm sure I must have mentioned that, but just in case I didn't, that's something I've done. Uh, the squashling pet has no effect in this fight. In fact, I'll dismiss him because he might be distracting. I'm tapping right trigger trying to summon the pumpkin moon in as soon as I can we're gonna be off we're gonna get lots of stuff and I cannot wait I in fact at some point I may leave the safety of this head down and just pick up what is there
it is over. Whew. Right, so let's see if we did actually get anything, let alone any goodie bags. There's definitely goodie bags here, but whether or not it's from them or just random enemies remains to be seen. Jeez. I think they may just be random enemy goodie bags. Oh god, we've got to do this again, don't we? We've got to go through and sort out what's... Oh no... Why? Why did I pick up so much treasure? Why did they drop so much treasure? This arena's too effective. Now bear in mind, I could have done a lot better had I used um, some more improvement things like uh, pumpkin pie and whatnot, but I didn't because this is just a test to see if they drop goodie bags and we managed to get five. So I don't think they do drop goodie bags. I think they were just random enemies that happened to get caught in the aftermath and obliterated from that. So, jeez. They can only stack up to 99 each. I really need to, um... Stop finding that pumpkin moon. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell all of this stuff, apart from the black fairy dust and the... Uh, what is it called? The... Spooky wood. Maybe I think I've got. A, have I got a scarecrow hat? I don't. I still haven't completed the scarecrow outfit, have I? I don't think. It'll be in here. So we've got the scarecrow hat. We don't have the rest of it. So that's something to focus on trying to get. So all this stuff is just duplicates of what we've already got. So it's going to get sold. Yeah. So I'm going to do that now. Because, well, quite frankly, you don't want to see me doing that, do you? That's all I'm going to do. Uh, we've determined that that doesn't work for getting goodie bags, so I'm going to go back to the the old classic of the other world, you know, where I was getting... trying to get the bone pickaxe. We got a few from there, so I can leave that running and try to get that whilst also trying to get the bone pickaxe, killing two birds with one stone as it were. Is that ammo? Why is that in on my ammo chest? Bizarre. Right. Oh, such a shame to be selling all this stuff. But, ah, does me no good. I've already got them and duplicates of them, and in case of the horseman's blade, I think I've got four of them. Just because I know it's such a good weapon that uh, I want to have multiples. Okay, so I'll be back. For you guys, it will be for tomorrow. For me, it's probably going to be a few days because I'm going to leave this running to try and get... Go away! To try and get the bone pickaxe. And considering it's been over 24 hours already without anything, I imagine it's going to be a lot more. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that running for a while. And we'll be back, hopefully, with the bone pickaxe. Hopefully with lots of... Um, uh, what are they called? Goodie bags. And hopefully you guys will have left me lots of suggestions to put up here. For now, though. Goodbye.